I think we're really going to need to come up with some way of balancing all of that negative um, aspect in the relationship now with something positive. We have a 700 billion annual trade between us. I mean, we are already totally intertwined. Try to find something that says, well, at least they can get the minimum done, get a little bit of work done, and it's not uh, uh, continuing to spiral into the ground. Welcome to CCG Global Dialogue. Now look at the bigger picture about China U.S. relations and its impact to the world. U.S. has a, has a new uh, Congress, and, uh, and China has a new, uh, going to, in uh, next month, we're going to have a new uh, government uh, set up in place. So let's turn, maybe we start some uh, a good communication as our dialogue uh, theme, and building a floor for the China-U.S. relations. Even in this very difficult environment where there's all this mutual suspicion and where really the two sides kind of have now see each other as a threat, which um, I think is uh, over-exaggerated on both parts, but um, that is kind of where we're at. I think we're really going to need to come up with some way of balancing all of that negative um, aspect in the relationship now with something positive. So I think there's plenty of work to be done, and some of this work can only be done <laughs> with the U.S. and China involved, um, maybe together with others, but certainly at least the two of them involved and pulling in the same direction. So whether we call that cooperation or not, I don't know, but the, this is what is going to need to happen. And believe me, you know, these institutions that have been set up over the last 70 years, um, you know, if we don't tend to them, uh, they're not going to be there and we're really going to miss them when they're gone. It's very easy um, to destroy things, but it's not so easy to build up these kinds of institutions and habits of sort of working together in the international system. And I really do uh, subscribe still to the to the co-evolution uh, notion that, you know, in order to have, um, you know, the kind of world, we're, we're still going to remain linked. We're not going to decouple. I think everybody's pretty much now agreed that decoupling uh, is not really in the cards. And if anything shows it, it's this you know, $700 billion record trade ex <laughs> that was exchanged between the U.S. and China last year that the Commerce Department published about yesterday. So we're going to remain linked and we have to work on these problems. And um, in order to work on these problems, uh, we each need to make adjustments in order to be able to work together better. Again, even though we're having all those... Uh... Uh, agonizing relations, but our trade activity is still going on, and uh, we have a 700 billion annual trade between us. I mean, we are already totally intertwined, and uh, and and China, if China is is doing well, it's contribute over a third of global GDP growth. It's it's beneficial to the U.S. as well. It's it's proving that the, the U.S. Uh, uh, which uh, you know led this system in in the seven seven decades has been working. Let's enhance it, Im improve it, and and let China play more active role there. I wish that in the current atmosphere, following the terrible events of the earthquakes in Turkey, we could find yeah. a way to cooperate bilaterally or multilaterally. I know China has already uh, promised a lot of assistance, and it's a difficult challenge to provide assistance in those circumstances. But this would be a place where you could get the spirit expressed, if not the material results immediately accomplished, to show that there's a, a common desire to rescue the, uh, the people who are suffering in northern Syria and southern Turkey. And then as each subsequent visitor goes back and forth, try to find something that says, well, at least they can get the minimum done, get a little bit of work done, and it's not uh, uh, continuing to spiral into the ground. I think that would be my high expectation for a year of low expectations. Mm -hmm.